Aiden Sancho has just had an impressive debut with Chelsea. In the match against Bournemouth, Sancho, who came on as a substitute, provided a crucial assist for Christopher Nkunku's winning goal. This goal ensured Chelsea won a narrow 1-0 victory. Enzo Maresca seemed to give a subtle dig at Manchester United manager Eric Ten Hag. After the match, Maresca revealed that Sancho needs affection to perform optimally. In his press conference, Maresca said, Jaden played well, Joao Felix was good, Tosin was good, and Christo Nkunku was very good. We decided to use Christo as number nine because he is good in the penalty box. I feel Jaden needs affection. For information, Jaden Sancho had a difficult time at Manchester United. After being involved in a feud with Eric Ten Hag, Sancho was criticized by Ten Hag for his performance in training sessions, which caused Sancho to feel like he was being made a scapegoat. This disagreement led to Sancho being excluded from United's first team. Now, Sancho hopes to start a new chapter at Chelsea and show his best performance. His debut performance gave a positive signal for the upcoming season. A unique moment from the Premier League match between Chelsea and Bournemouth. This match not only left an impression because of Chelsea's narrow 1-0 victory, but also because it broke the record for the most yellow cards in Premier League history. Let's see the details. Last Saturday, Chelsea played Bournemouth at the Vitality Stadium in a highly anticipated match. Although Chelsea only won 1-0, this match was very historic in terms of the number of yellow cards issued by referee Anthony Taylor. This match set a new record with a total of 14 yellow cards issued by the referee, beating the previous record held by the match between Wolves and Newcastle in 2010 and Chelsea and Tottenham in 2016, which each collected 12 yellow cards. Here is a list of players who received yellow cards in this match. Bournemouth, Marco Sinisi, Adam Smith, Ryan Christie, Lewis Cook, Justin Clevert, and Antoine Semenyo. Chelsea, Robert Sanchez, Mark Cucurella, Levi Colwell, Wesley Fofana, Renato Vega, Nicholas Jackson, Joao Felix, and Jaden Sancho. Enzo Maresca gave a relaxed response regarding this record. According to him, the number of yellow cards is not a big problem. Maresca considered that matches like this are indeed full of duels and tension that can result in many yellow cards. On the other hand, Bournemouth coach Andoni Iraola chose not to discuss the referee's decision in depth and preferred to focus on the match itself. He stated that despite the many yellow cards, he did not feel that this match was full of aggression or violence. So. That's the summary of the Chelsea versus Bournemouth match that broke this yellow card record. Do you think this record adds to the excitement of the match, or does it actually reduce it? Don't forget to leave a comment. Next, we will discuss how Enzo Maresca's big decision at the start of the season proved to be right, and Jadon Sancho's brilliant performance began to show its impact at Chelsea. Let's see the details. Enzo Maresca faced a big challenge in choosing the main goalkeeper at the start of this season. Amidst the long list of goalkeepers owned by the club, Maresca finally chose Robert Sanchez as the number one goalkeeper. In the match against Bournemouth, Sanchez performed extraordinarily by saving a penalty from Evan Ilsen. This save was very crucial and became one of the positive moments from Chelsea's less than satisfactory performance. In the first half, Chelsea faced many difficulties. Wesley Fofana's mistake in giving a bad back pass almost had fatal consequences. However, Sanchez managed to cover up the mistake with a very important save. Jadon Sancho, who just joined from Borussia Dortmund, performed impressively, even though he only played from the bench. Coming on as a substitute in the second half, Sancho made a big contribution by providing an assist for Christopher Nkunku's winning goal. Sancho showed great potential with better penetration and an immediate contribution. His solid performance could earn him a place in the starting 11s for the upcoming match against West Ham. Sancho, with his impressive form, has the potential to become a main option on the left wing, replacing Nito who has been ineffective in recent games. Next we will discuss Jadon Sancho's stunning performance on his Chelsea debut and how his subtle comments seem to be a dig at Manchester United. Let's see more. Jadon Sancho stole the show on his Chelsea debut with a player of the match performance in the match against AFC Bournemouth. Although he only played since the second half, Sancho immediately made a big impact with an assist for Chelsea's winning goal. After coming on in the second half to replace Pedro Neto, Sancho made a big difference on the field, 
he caused problems for Bournemouth's defence and finally provided an assist for Christopher Nkunku, who scored the winning goal in the 86th minute. After the match, Sancho expressed his gratitude to be able to play again and feel comfortable at his new club. This statement may be a subtle dig at his difficult experience at Manchester United and his relationship with former manager Eric Ten Hag. I'm really happy to make my debut at Chelsea. It feels great to be back playing. I'm really grateful, Sancho told Sky Sports. He also added how he felt welcomed at his new club and felt comfortable. Enzo Maresca praised Sancho and emphasized that all the issues surrounding the player did not affect his assessment. Maresca considered Sancho as a very good player and has a positive attitude both on and off the field. That's a review of Jadon Sancho's brilliant debut at Chelsea and how his comments could be a dig at Manchester United. Do you think Sancho will continue to perform consistently and prove his quality at Chelsea? Ben Chilwell seems to have gotten a new chance after being ignored by coach Enzo Maresca. Let's explore this situation further. Ben Chilwell was not included in Chelsea's squad list at the start of this season. After no transfer agreement was reached, Chilwell had to stay at Stamford Bridge at least until January. Chilwell was initially linked with several clubs, including Manchester United, but the transfer did not materialize. He was also linked with clubs from the Turkish Super League. Although not playing in the league match, Chilwell was still allowed to train with the main squad, unlike several other players who had to train with the U21 team. Enzo Maresca previously expressed interest and appreciation for Chilwell, but could not promise much playing time. Maresca said that it was difficult to find the best position for Chilwell in his system. Chilwell is likely to get a chance in domestic competitions, such as the League Cup or FA Cup, if he is reintegrated into the main squad. With the failed transfer and the situation still unclear, Ben Chilwell may get a new chance at Chelsea. Can he prove himself and regain his place in the first team? Let's wait and see what happens next. Next, we will discuss the latest news about Carney Chukwemeka, including whether there is a possibility that he will be loaned to Galatasaray or remain at Chelsea. Let's see the complete information. Carney Chukwemeka, the Chelsea midfielder who is currently in the spotlight, is rumored to be loaned to the Turkish club Galatasaray. However, leading transfer journalist Fabrizio Romano has clarified this rumor. According to Romano, there have been no concrete talks between Chelsea and Galatasaray regarding the transfer or loan of Chukwemeka. Chelsea are currently only considering selling Chukwemeka permanently, not loaning him out. Carney Chukwemeka, who will celebrate his 21st birthday next month, is currently a reserve option at Chelsea. He is behind several mainstays such as Enzo Fernandez and Moises Caicedo on the coach's shortlist. Since joining from Aston Villa in 2022, with a potential transfer value of £20 million, Chuk Wemeka has appeared in 27 matches, scoring two goals and providing one assist. With his less prominent position at Chelsea, many are wondering about Chuk Wemeka's future. Will he continue to fight for a place in the first team? or will Chelsea decide to sell him? Given the current situation, it is likely that Chelsea will look for a permanent sale option if a suitable offer comes in. That's the latest update on Carney Chukwemeka and his transfer situation. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so you don't miss the latest news about football and player transfers. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Chelsea have just announced that they have given Senegalese striker Nicholas Jackson a new contract, keeping him at Stamford Bridge until 2033. This is a very long nine-year deal, which reflects the club's confidence in Jackson's abilities. Nicholas Jackson, who is only 23 years old, previously joined Chelsea last summer in a deal worth 37 million euros. During his first season, Jackson scored 17 goals in 44 appearances, although he has not completely won over all Chelsea fans. In a statement on the club's official website, Jackson expressed his happiness. I feel very good and very happy to sign a new contract and stay at this club. It feels great because the club believes in me. I work very hard and I am very happy to extend my contract and stay here for many years. Previous manager Mauricio Pochettino also praised Jackson, saying that he has great potential to become one of the best strikers in the Premier League. Pochettino explained, he will be a fantastic player, but he needs time. He has the ability to run with the ball, connect with the team, and score goals. It's only a matter of time before he scores a lot of goals. The nine-year contract shows the club's commitment to giving Jackson the support and opportunity to develop into one of the best strikers in the league.
That's the latest update on Nicholas Jackson and his new contract with Chelsea. What do you think about this contract extension? Do you believe that Jackson will live up to the club's expectations and become a star in the Premier League? Leave your comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more latest football news. Enzo Maresca recently praised Noni Madueke, who has shown extraordinary performance this season. Madueke has scored four goals in four matches for Chelsea. However, Maresca also reminded Madueke to stay focused and not lower his playing standards. Maresca emphasized the importance of hard work and consistency so that all the achievements that have been achieved are not in vain. Noni Madueke has become one of Chelsea's shining stars. This season, Madueke has shown his ability by scoring a hat-trick in the match against Wolverhampton Wanderers on August 25th. In the match, Madueke scored three goals in just 14 minutes, proving his sharpness and ability from the right side of the field. In addition to club level, Madueke also performed impressively while strengthening the England national team. He provided an assist that helped Harry Kane score the second goal in the match against Finland in the UEFA Nations League. Madueke has proven to be an important player both at club and national team level. Thus the review of Noni Madueke and the warning from Enzo Maresca. What do you think about Madueke's performance and his coach's advice? Leave your comments below.